Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kamakhalo Mutusi. I am a full-time altruist. I help people with anything and everything that's within my capabilities. Today, we are going to talk about how to pass your learner's license on your first attempt. The reason why I'm making this video is because I see a lot of companies when they post job posts, they ask that you must hold a valid driver's license. And in order for you to get a driver's license, you need a learner's license. And that is why I'm making this video. Okay, in this video, I'm going to section the video into three sections where I talk about how where well, I talk about what you need to know before you go to the before you consider going to book for your learner's license, what you need to bring on the day that you're booking, and also how to prepare for the test, which is why we are here today, right? So I promise you, if you watch up until the end, you are guaranteed a pass. Like, don't skip at all. Just watch from now up until the end. You are going to pass on your first attempt. We are trying to save money. We don't want you to go through that process again. Like, you don't want to repeat it again. You just want to do it once and save money. Okay, so what is a learner's license? So before you even consider going to book for a learner's license, I think it's very important for you to know what it is. What it is, is it is a permit that proves that you have the basic knowledge about a motor vehicle controls, the road signs and the road rules. So it is a multiple choice um, exam that is divided in three sections, namely controls, vehicle controls, yes, and road rules and also the road signs. Each and every section has minimum requirements that you need to meet. So for example, uh, controls is out of eight. So if you do get eight and then you fail the others, it doesn't mean that you actually passed. So you need to meet the minimum requirements. It doesn't matter if you get 80% or not, but each and every section, just make sure that you meet the requirements. I will link in the description below what the requirements are for each and every section, right? The other thing that you need to know is that a learner's license is valid for 24 months or two years. So once the time has expired, you cannot extend it or renew it. You will have to go through the process again. And this is why you need to do it once and for all and go straight for your driver's license and pass. There are three types of learner's license. We have code one, which is for motorcycles, code two, which is for motor vehicles, and code three, which is for heavy vehicles. So just make Make sure that you take the correct one that you want to test for. Remember, don't listen to people saying that this one is easier than the other. Just go with what, what your needs are. If the job that you'll be doing, uh, it requires you to be driving heavy vehicles, go for code three. So choose the suitable one and also just always think about your future. So when you go to the station outside, there are people that are taking photos. When you get there, don't ask for two because like I said, you are guaranteed a pass, meaning that you are going to use two pictures for your learner's license after passing on the day you are booking for a driver's license. As long as you watch this video up until the end, take four pictures. Okay, and then I also mentioned that you also need your own pen. The thing is when you get to the to the licensing department, when you get there, you need to fill in a form. So there's usually like one or two pens there and depending on the market connection. So you want to make sure that you have your own pen so that you fill in the, the form without being pressurized by the next person that's waiting for the pen. You want to take your time and not make mistakes and tick things that you shouldn't be ticking. So just make sure that you come with your own pen. Now, let me take you through the process of booking. You go there, you fill in the form, you after you've filled in the form, you've ticked the right boxes, now you go for eye testing. Remember, eye testing is not to sabotage people. It is just there to make sure that you can see other cars from a distance and that everyone on the road is safe because we need to see each other, isn't it? So should you fail the eye test at the licensing department, it is not the end of the road. They're just going to refer you to a doctor, an optometrist, and he's go he or she is going to test you and give you a certificate. And then after getting the certificate, you come back to the licensing department, you go to the tellers, you pay. Like I said, you need a booking fee. Please, please, please 
before you go to book, please make a call and ask about the, the fee because it's different per region. So call them and ask how much is it to book for Elena's license and come with the, that money. After you've paid, they give you a receipt, proof of payment, and then they also give you an A4 paper that shows the time and the date that you are expected to be at the, Lenners, at the licensing department to write. That paper, please, please, please keep it safe because when you come to write, they are going to need it. You need to, to, to present it to them when you get there. So it's, it's not the same for all the other licensing departments, but I believe that you need to keep that. It's very, very important and also for you to actually know what time and on which day are you expected to be there. Now we're doing the third part of the video where we are discussing how to prepare for your learner's license so that you write it once and for all. Okay, you need, listen carefully, you will need to download a K53 app. Go to App Store and download this app. It looks like this, I'll link it here. This is how it looks. You go on the app and when you get there, you just choose learner's license because we are still yet on the learner's license um, stage. Choose there. Immediately after you click learner's license, it takes you to frequently asked questions, which is something that I've been talking about. So, but you can read about the various other questions that you might have that I did not uh, address at the beginning of the video. And then after that, click onto dashboard. When you get there, there's K53 and the other sections that I told you about. So what I did, I'm telling you about what worked for me. It might not work for you, but it worked for me. I went to controls. I read about controls. After reading about controls, I tested myself. I took the multiple choice for controls. And once I was comfortable with it, I moved on to the next section. The reason why I chose controls was because Controls is short and easy, in my opinion. Remember, you only get eight questions from controls, whereas the other sections, you get 30 questions. So I started with that so that I have like a motivation booster so that I can, you know, I feel like I can do this and move on to the other sections. So that's what, work, what worked for me. I moved on to the other sections as well. I read and then I took a, a test on that particular section and then I moved on to the third one. After you are done with all the sections, reading and also testing yourself, you're now moving to K53, which is a test that is combined, right? So you choose a test there that is combined and you time yourself. You have 60 minutes on the clock to test yourself whether you understood the, the three sections and if you, should you fail any test, you'll be able to go back and review the test and actually note down the questions that gave you a hard time. So remember, you are studying this not just to cram and forget about the test, but to understand, because this is the information that you'll be applying on your everyday life on the road. So like road signs and also the rules of the road, don't drive here at this time. Like you need to know those things. It's not something that you're going to write about today and then you forget. Even when you are driving, when you're going for your, your driver's license test, you need to apply the information that you've studied. So just make sure you understand and you are not cramming. So like I said, you go to K53 and then getting to K53, you are writing a test that is combined with all the three sections. Remember, each and every section has minimum requirements and you need to meet them. So let me make an example. If you get total for controls and the road rules, but then you don't meet requirements for road signs, you automatically fail, even if you got 100% for the other two sections. So just make sure you know exactly what is it that you are studying. And, you know, the other thing that might help you is when you are busy preparing for the test and you're busy going out, maybe going to the mall or visiting a friend on the road, just try, the signs are there, try to test yourself and be like, you know what, okay, this is a stop sign, this is a yield sign, when you get there, this is what you do. So just don't make it about what you are seeing on the app only, 
but also make it about what you apply. And also if you're sitting with someone that's driving there, observe what is it that they're doing. You know, don't just be on your phone, uh, snapping, you know, use the time to actually learn and remind yourself of what is it that you need to do when you come to this intersection and all of that. So it's very, very important for you to know the information and not to cry. The nice thing about this app is that it's free and you can use it anytime. But the downfall of it is that it has a lot of ads. So how do you manage when there are ads popping here and there? Just switch off your network and start studying because anyway, you don't need distractions. Switch off your Wi-Fi, switch off your mobile data, just focus on the test. There won't be any ads popping and you'll be focused for that 60 minutes testing yourself and making sure that you are ready. So like I said, guys, if you download this app, I promise you, even other people that already have their learner's license, please comment down below and confirm what I'm saying right now because I know that it worked for me twice because I wrote my learner's license the first time, first attempt I passed and then it expired. And like I said, if you take too, too long to go back, it's going to expire and you'll have to go through the process again. And then I had to write for the second time and even the second time I passed on my first attempt because I was using this particular app. Okay guys, we've come to the end of the video. I hope the information was helpful. I need to mention that this video was not sponsored at all. It is just something that happened to me. It's from my experience and I felt like I need to share with you guys so that you guys can also save money and not fail the learner's license, do it once and for all, and you know, move on to testing for your driver's license. Guys, please let us go out there, get our learner's licenses, get our driver's license so that we decrease the 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 things that are standing on the way of us getting jobs. Because if they state that you need a driver's license, you can't really apply for that job. So just make sure that we are increasing our employment prospects by actually ticking off things. Already, now we've done CV, now we, we are doing the learner's license, we'll be moving on to other things as well. So stay tuned as we are exploring and sharing information that's helpful so that we get jobs that we are looking for. Thank you. Thank you guys so much.